welcome to my channel so stay tuned I will go step by step on how I do this alcohol ink one color at a time using blow dryer technique and air compressor I also show how I use all of these tools okay so welcome sit back get something cold to drink get a little snack or get your dinner or get something I don't know when this is going to be uploaded or when you're going to watch it but get something and let's art together okay Ink, Pinata, Tim Holtz, Jar with Alcohol, Watercolor Brushes, but I put alcohol in here instead, and that's what I use to just do cleanup. And sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I use just plain old kid markers they are alcohol based as well and they work just as well you can even do a painting with just these and more colors right so I'll do some of that and here we go no matter what comes out on here um, I'm cool with it let me just angle this a little bit more. I'm cool with it. I'm not going to stress out over it. I'm not really doing anything but making a tutorial. And that's it because some people have asked me about my paintings. I'm still learning just like everyone else. But I just practice, practice, practice. And I don't care about making mistakes. And I don't care about making fails. Um, I have many a thrown up pieces in this garbage and I don't have a problem with throwing one away and starting over on this video okay so let's get started yeah so um, as a preliminary caution I have two fans on in this room I have the downstairs patio door open because if you read on the side of the alcohol inks they say that they are um, toxic and um, you shouldn't be breathing these in technically so that's my word of advice and that's that so I have a bottle of alcohol right here it's 91% and today I'm going to actually use uh, brass I actually have brass I have silver and I have gold but I'm going to use this color today. It's actually my favorite <clears throat> so far. It's been my favorite. Today I'm using, hold on. Uh, let me get both of these. This is going to be a long video too. I'm using this paper right here. Uh, Yupo paper is good too, but this is what I found in my art supply store. So I was like, cool, I'm going to use that. And I also ordered this you all know what this is this is Kirkland's photo paper and I got 150 sheets of it because it's good just to practice right they, and this works just as well but this is my favorite that's what we're using today <clears throat> alright let's get started what I found is on this you can drop the color down with no problem but on that photo paper it's better to start off with a drop of alcohol and then 
do whatever you need to do. I'm using this. This this is a hair dryer. Uh, it's 1200 watts. It's a little strong, but um, and it does have a cool setting. But the cool setting is so powerful that I just use it on low, high heat. So I'll be using that as well. I don't know. I might turn this on and use the air compressor gun, but um, I doubt it. And this is just straight cool air. I don't know what's going on with my air compressor. It's getting kind of overheated. I'm going to have to buy another one. So, now let's go. Look at that. Four minutes out. I don't even know what colors I'm going to use, guys. Um, hmm. I want something with some yellow in it. So I'm going to use this piñata yellow. I'm going to loosen up this top. I already have my brass here. And if you hear laughing in the background, my husband's down there. My roommate, who is He's down there watching TV. Okay? And green is not my favorite color, but I might end up putting some green in here. I'm not sure. Uh, Let's do some Tim Holtz rust. That's an interesting color. And... Let's just start off with these two, because I don't know where I'm going. I didn't really plan this out. I should have, but I didn't. I'm looking at this Baja Blue. Mm, I don't know. No. No. Let me just work with these colors right here. And just let you see what I do. Because I really wasn't trying to make no art. Not really. So, um, I don't know. Let's start here. Oops. Yeah, let's start here. Because it's dripped there. A happy accident. All right. And I just have this alcohol on hand. Oops, drip some. And I kind of let this just do its thing. And uh, get my blow dryer together. And then I'm just going to drop some alcohol on here. And let's see what happens. I'm sorry, I'm all off camera, huh? Oh, my apologies. I'm going to move this in a second. So, tip. Here's a little tip. There are many people out there doing alcohol inks, and they are using air compressor gun, they are using blow dryers like I am, they are using um, straws <laughs> and blowing on it, I don't recommend that, I mean, it is toxic, but do you, you know, do you, take the precautions that you need and do you, to create what you need to create, usually when I'm doing this, you want to like, blow in and then pull it out as far as you can and then bring the color back in, and what you're doing is you're softening out that color, you're bringing in, you're blending and all that, and this right here, guys, I don't use this. This to me is a waste. It came with um, a kit. I bought a kit of Tim Holtz and this is useless to me. Now, for some of you, if this works, that's awesome. This doesn't do anything to me, for me, at all. I mean, I played around with it. You can see how much I've used, but yeah, no. That ain't for me, okay? So, I'm going to drop down our next color. <laughs> I, hope this is, I hope I'm doing the right thing. With this sunburst yellow, but you know, let's just let's be bold with it. I dropped down like four, at least four drops. And guys, remember to put your tops. You know, you don't have to screw them on, but just put your tops on so you don't dry out your alcohol. Okay. Always shake up your brass. Put your finger over here. It's like shaking up hair color. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. This is what we do. Drop in, I don't know, I dropped like two or three down. Let the color do its thing. Don't rush it. Just enjoy. Let it do what it needs to do, especially with this brass.
I'm going to pull this out some. Let it dry completely. Let it dry completely. And then you can loosen this up with some alcohol. Don't rush it. So just take your time with this. Do not rush it whatsoever. I'm going to move this up so you can get a little bit better um, look. Don't rush this at all. Just let the alcohol tell you what it wants. I'm going to actually add a third color. I'm going to add something a little bit lighter. Um, hmm. I'm kind of seeing this butterscotch color in here. This is Tim Holtz butterscotch. Um, I'm just going to keep going up this line. I'm kind of liking how it's going like that. Now mine is a little bit off. Don't be afraid to, you know, tilt your workspace whatsoever. And I'm going to add some more brass because I just love this brass color. That was two drops. I'm just going to let this, let it cook. Let it marinate, you guys. Let it marinate. Let it do its thing. Sorry for the noise, but you know, you guys know. So when I do this, I'm actually drying this in place. I'm spreading it out, and I'm drying it out where I want it. And then looking where I want to stretch it out a little bit more. Let this ink work. It's good if you have a lazy Susan and you work this on a lazy Susan, as you can see. Or cake. This is actually a cake decorating pan. Or spinning Susan, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to call it that. You notice how I'm taking the heat off of it, letting it do its thing, and then putting the heat right back on. That's how you get those nice rings. Work in small sections. Don't try to spread this out like crazy. That was my mistake when I first started. I was trying to do like too big a section. Too much alcohol. It was just a mess. Alright, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to do a little example 
with this beginning color with the air compressor. So I'm going to turn this on and we're going to uh, incorporate some rust here and I'm going to show you the difference between the hot air and what see how the hot air makes these nice big blooms and I'm going to show you what the cold air compressor does. I'm going to add it about right here just a dot, a small dot. I'm going to add some more of this brass because I just love this color and this turning out nice so I might actually keep it keep this painting let me let that do its thing for a minute um let me give a little tip for airbrush when using the airbrush don't just get down to your work and turn it on you want to have it already going and then sweep it through like that all the way through and then take your hand off don't just get down and because you will splatter this all over the place all right that's pro tip I feel like you have to move more and you have to really manipulate the air but what I find with the um, and this is on low this is like not even 20 psi so that's why the air gun is staying on this to me makes more um, and it stays wet longer it makes more soft and is great for blending but um, I prefer the blow dryer to be honest with you. I think that the heat creates a little bit uh, nicer look. But that's just my personal preference. I use both depending on what I want to do. So that's the air gun. You can get it on Amazon. So I'm going to turn this off because I don't want to use the air gun with this. I just wanted to show that demonstration that, yes, you can use the air gun. Now say you have a little mistake because I see one that I don't like. So I use these. This is too small. I use these little markers right here. And let's go over here. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just lift this up. I don't like that shadowing right there. It's just like a little shadow right here that I don't like and I usually do this when I'm done but I just take this little marker just like this and I just kinda scoot it in there where I want it you can either let it air dry or you can take a paper towel you can wipe it off you can take your glove be careful when you use your glove though because you don't want to smear and you can just clean that off and just have a nice edge this has alcohol ink in it it will activate the inks so wherever you put it that's what it will do activate the ink and spread it out which is what alcohol does so that's just a little tip on that and then I'm just going to show you the marker real quick we can add it on this end here um, I'm using these brown colors let's try this this is a pretty Sorry guys. Okay, so I flipped this over so that it is facing this way. It's probably going to be weird with the video, but anyways, um, let's see how we can put them together. <sighs> I did add the marker here, but I'm going to add the marker again so you guys can see how I do that. <laughs> that is so crazy. That's what you get for using your phone. Alright, so this is crayon, and then I also have Artist Law Fine pen. And um, I actually have these in the salon when I had kids. And I will let the kids like color with this. And I have all these coloring books and stuff. But um, I closed the salon because I needed a break. And I don't know when I'm going to open it back up. So I'm just going to incorporate both of these colors here. Down here. Doesn't matter how you do it. You can be real dramatic with it. Which I'm doing on purpose. So yeah. 
And I'm going to put that up because I won't be using it anymore after this. And then um, I'm going to shake up my brass. Da -da -da. Bra -bra 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 brass. My brass. By Pinata. Just in case you're wondering, Pinata makes brass, silver, they make gold, they make all kinds of colors. Oh, let's drop that in there. I'm tripping. And um, I use them all, but today we're using brass because that's what I wanted to use. I'm going to use too much, so let's break that up. Oops, my jar is in the way. Make sure you have room when you're using this lazy season. I'm just kind of letting this get all crazy because I really want to spread out that brass color. And I didn't want to use too much of this marker. I just wanted to incorporate a little bit of it, as you can see. Like a little hint. Now, if you do use markers and you find, let me turn this off. If you do use markers and you find that, man, this stuff is not blending the way that I want to. And you've ever used watercolor, you, we, you usually use these with watercolor. And I do paint in watercolor sometimes, but these pans are awesome for putting alcohol in here and using it for this. So if you find parts like that, do you see how I just kind of clean that up, clean this up right here? It just really activates it, cleans it up. And then you can just keep on moving with it. Add some more alcohol to that, just like a drip. Turn on your heat and do what you need to do. No more mistakes in alcohol ink. You just clean it up. There is no mistakes in alcohol ink. You could, Lord forbid, but you could flood this whole thing with alcohol, wipe this off, <laughs> and start over if you really wanted to. I'm just softening this out. I want this a little bit softer. Get over there. There we go. And then just a circular motion just to dry it all the way up. And keep it in place. And I'm loving that gold. That brass. Wow, that's pretty. That is really pretty. I don't like this. Oh, wow, look how big this is. We don't want that big. Mm -mm. That would be a disaster. Disaster. Where is my number four? Oh, this number two is good. I just want to clean this part right here. It's kind of jumped out on me, and I'm not really pleased with it. So let's just, you know, get rid of it as if it never existed at all another good tip is if you really want to clean something off I found that acetone just regular nail polish remover acetone um, even pure acetone really cleans up some nice spotting now this isn't a spotting this is actually underneath my um, my board so that's cool but acetone is great all right let's finish this off we're almost done i'm keeping this pretty simple i'm not trying to go like crazy with this just kind of wanted to incorporate a little extra extra read all about it in here um give me i want to do this butterscotch like right here i feel like that's just a little bit too much yellow just like in that corner right there let's put this top back on here and I'm not even going to add any brass to this. I'm just going to um, add that, put this in here, and just soften up that a little bit. That is, that's just too much going on. I love the yellow. Yellow is my favorite color in my house. Is uh, sunflower yellow. So, yeah. Just a happy color, you know? There you go.
I wanted to connect those. There you go. Just made like a nice little fade. I just love that. All right, I'm going to add, believe it or not, some yellow. I'm going to put yellow right here just to finish this off, and I might even add a little bit more of the color that I started off with, which was rust. But I'm just going to, right on here, just add that yellow and let it do its thing, because I want those two colors to blend. I'm actually done with this yellow, so I'm actually going to close that top off, and just, I'm done. I'm going to add some of this brass, and I better hurry up and just add a drop, because it'll make a... It will, you'll see it, and I don't want to see it. I want it that to dry. Remember, let it dry. Don't try to work it. And bring it back and forth. As you're stretching it out. Don't add too many drops of alcohol. Just Take your time with it. And think about where you want it to go. And I know I'm making this look like it's like, oh my god, it's so easy. To make it look so easy. It is easy, guys. Just take your time with it. Don't rush. I, I mean, if you make a mistake, you can clean it up, right? Let's soften this just a little bit. The more you push the colors back and forth, the more they blend, the more they stretch out, and the softer they get. This is a good tool. <laughs> Always keep a jar by you. Little drop it where am I? okay this is going to be a really long video but I hope it helps makes this medium a little bit easier and not so intimidating for people so I'm done with this butterscotch I'm going to close this I don't, I'm not going to use this anymore guys I'm done with it I'm going to finish off with this rust color and we are done I don't try to manipulate this. I just let the alcohol do what it wants to do. I even closed up that rust color. Tim Holtz rust. I'm going to go ahead and add a huge drop, obviously. And I have this glass. I don't know if I showed this, but I have a glass dish. I used to use these cups right here, and they would always fall over, and I was wasting alcohol, so I just had a glass jar. And you know, I'm not stressing out this over this dot just sitting here drying up like this, right? Let's do it over here so you guys can see. Hopefully I don't have to turn it. And I'm just going to reactivate this. Don't be afraid to do all of this with it at all. I'm tilting this up so that this run bleeds into the yellow. And don't be afraid to let... I'm, I'm off the camera, sorry. Don't be afraid to let this... Let's go this way. Bleed and run off of the, the paper. I have wax paper on here. So, yeah. Just let it do what it wants to do. Oh. Okay. Don't have your blow dryer <laughs> on when you put the drop of alcohol either. <laughs> Alright. This is a weird angle, you guys. I'm trying to be in the camera and still work this key. Good lord. Let me get over here. There. I'm sorry. Please accept my apologies. I'm going to cover this. I don't want any space with this. I hope you can see this. Okay, let's just dry it. I see one more little stick right there. I don't want that open. I don't want that covered. Kind of get away. That's kind of cool. 
Alright, I lied. I said I was done, but I'm not done because I see some stuff. I don't need to add any alcohol. I just want to like, I kind of want to push this out a little bit. What color is that? I don't know. That's butterscotch. I'm going to, I lied. I'm going to bring that butterscotch back just for a little while. Just for a minute. I kind of want to push this out. No, you know what? I'm going to do what I did here. I'm just going to use, not this marker. It's kind of a green color. I don't want that. I want this one. And I just want to like add this here. I know it just looks crazy just scribbling on here like this, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. I mean, that is just straight up nuts. Right? I'm just drying it in place so that I can stretch this out some more. Keep my color. I kind of want to use this color now, dang it, because it just doesn't, it's not balancing for me, so yeah, let's put some of this in here, don't be mad at me, calm down, let's put some here too, just scribble it on, you know, be bold. Be brilliant. I'm gonna turn this on so you can be ready. This is the only time that you would actually put the alcohol on here and then add the ink. I mean, add the brass. Let me put some here and some here. Yeah. Okay. Just make it so I'm in the camera for you guys. I'm actually holding, I'm picking this up and burning myself in the process. No, I'm kidding. It's hot though. Yeah, I like that better. It just seems to kind of mirror that end right there. Kind of drag some of this yellow over right here. Yellow, brown, gold, I don't know. I can't tell you what color it is. I just want it here. Okay. I like this. I'm, I'm feeling this. I really am. It is straight working for me. So, yeah. That's how you do alcohol inks in a controlled manner. Take your time. Don't rush through it. Work in small sections. Work with one or two colors. I mean, two or three colors. And uh, one of these uh, alcohol ink silver silver is beautiful you got to shake the hell out of these brass or use a gold they have a copper you know choose your 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 mix these are my favorite 
and then um, that's it don't be afraid to incorporate some alcohol markers these are just Crayola crayon markers non-toxic alcohol and the artist loft in fine and regular super tip and um, oh yeah don't be afraid to use these you can get these at Michaels or online at Amazon you can get all this stuff on Amazon actually and yeah alcohol make sure when you use it and you use these type of bottles that you clean this tip off before you recap it because it gets it dries out and then use precaution always have fans on use masks you can even use one of the big uh, you know one of these <laughs> yeah so that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, like subscribe uh, share it with your friends people that are doing alcohol ink share it with your mom whatever whatever makes you happy all right and please leave a comment i really want to hear what you guys have to say it really touches my heart when you guys have uh comments or ask questions i'm very happy to uh answer them okay and I'm almost at 200 subscribers, so I'm going to probably do a little giveaway because that's what YouTubers do, right? So I'm going to get on the bandwagon and do that too. So once I hit 200 subscribers, I'm going to look through the list of my subscribers and pull out two names and hopefully get in contact with people and mail off some nice gifts for me reaching 200. All right. Peace out, people. Keep on arting. Have fun. Take your time. Enjoy yourself. And 